This is Greg Forzani with another Don't Miss the Point of Business video. I'm going to start with a question. I want you to really think about this and ask yourself this. If you were in charge of the Olympic Committee for your country, taking athletes to the Olympics, and the objective, which usually the objective of the Olympic Committee is, to win as many medals as possible, because it is a competition where your country places on the leaderboard as to regards to how many medals it wins. So if the objective is to win as many medals as you can, and you're running the Olympic Committee for your country, would you put somebody on your team that is not motivated to do the work it takes to win a medal? Training, learning, knowledge, trying new ways, measuring numbers, all those things. Ask yourself that question. So, if the answer is no, you wouldn't, now let's change the subject to business. You own a business, and the business owner, who happens to be yourself, so look in the mirror, is not motivated to do what it takes to win in the most competitive game you're probably ever going to play, which is business, then what are you doing? If, if you're having to spend most of your time and energy motivating yourself to want to do the things you need to do to succeed in business, then maybe it's time to look in the mirror and say, hmm, can I get motivated? How do I do it? Can I do it quickly? And if it's a quick fix to get motivated, great. If it means shifting what you do in your business and the type of work you do and hire somebody else to do the things you don't like doing, great. But without going into too much discussion around that, if it's a constant issue you find you have to motivate yourself and you don't like it, then either sell the business and go find something you're motivated to do, or maybe hire somebody that is motivated to run your business. It's not a bad thing. Running your business is a different thing than owning the business. Um, in any case, you can't spend all your time trying to figure out how to get motivated because if, if you, the business owner, have to constantly motivate you, the manager, then you, the business owner, needs to fire you, the manager, and figure out whether you just want to sell the business or you want to hire somebody else because if all your energy and attention is spent on getting motivated, you're not spending enough time and energy on doing the work, learning how to run the business, putting in the sweat and tears and hard work uh, to make it profitable. Again, don't, don't miss the point about why you own a business. 